Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. So, we're just taking care of this bridge right now. Number three. Let's see how you compare to the power of third. Are you worthy of joining the teams of moles? I don't think you are. Not with that Growlithe, my gosh. Oh, I forgot to go heal up Big. So Big still is poison. I'll need to take care of that. Uh, after this fight. Just don't miss big. Thank you. Yeah, super nothing fight. Like, not even worth it. We'll still go and take care of the poison, though. While we're at it, let's just buy some more Pokeballs. There, we have 30. Like, what are the odds that we're going to run into something that we can't catch? We've got 30 Pokeballs and a Master Ball. <laughs> I, don't th I think we're going to be fine. Okay, number four. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, getting tired yet? No, not really. This is going by really, really easily. Lapras, level 16, this shouldn't be a problem. Not for big. Icy Wind, I'm pretty sure that most water types are resistant to that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's annoying to have the speed down, but I mean, we were already slower to begin with, so not a problem. Okay, Fan Dawn is about to use Weezing. Um, yeah, we don't need to change. No. Uh, Big can just use Confusion, and it'll be dead in about two rounds. Oh yeah, Ast Armor, that's gonna do so much to save you, buddy. So much. Big uses Confusion. It's super effective. Man, that's the worst. Like, just, you know, being at the perfect point where you just don't quite finish them off in one hit. Just being right at that specific... Just barely missing out. Anyway, Big is now level 22. Which means... Yeah, it gets more health, some basic stats. K is also level 22. Okay, that's Fan Dawn out of the way. Okay, we've got one more. And you are... Number 5. So you're just going by number 5, huh? Okay, it's Cyclist Joey. He forgot his bike, and he's sending out a Jigglypuff. This is like the ultimate test at the end of the bridge. A Jigglypuff. It knows extreme speed, but... Okay, that crit. Uh, Big, how comfortable do I feel just leaving you out here? Not extremely. So I'm going to send out Rai, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, try attack. Uh, wouldn't have wanted to deal with that. Oh, cool, burn. Sheesh, I'm going to have to make a trip back, aren't I? Uh, just water spout. End it. <laughs> Put an end to Jigglypuff. My gosh. Okay, we finished the bridge, that's it. Da, 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 da. We defeated Cyclist Joey. Too much. Okay, I need to go back and just heal everyone up now. Uh, congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. You received a nugget. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? Oh, wait. Okay, you need convincing. Oh, right, so this actually is a fight. <laughs> yeah, back to fighting some more weightlifters with their incredibly deadly Abras. Man, I would love to leave Big out here, but that is that is not the best uh, position to be in, so let's switch out and go with K. <laughs> Pedal dance. That's something all these Abras seem to know, isn't it? Oh, cool, K is just strong enough to one-shot it. And now Voltorb. No, this is fine. One concern I have is that I feel... Like, I feel like one of these things is going to know, like, something like Explosion. And... That's when we're going to be in trouble, when we run 
run into a Pokemon that decides to lead off with Explosion. That's how we're going to lose one of our next Pokemon, for sure. That's like just a constant worry I have with like these randomizer dislocks. Billy, you become a top leader at T-Brock. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. I, I just want to take care of these trainers uh, <laughs> before I go back and heal up. And then we can catch our next Pokemon. Another Mew. Sheesh. Is Mew really that common in this world? Also, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't be leading off with Big, my gosh. Uh, Mr. Krabs, get out there. You can take care of this. Yep. Oh, great, he's paralyzed. Hopefully he can get off Hydro Cannon. We, ju we just need one Hydro Cannon. We just need one. We just need one. Mr. Krabs, why? This is such a mistake. I could feel that crit coming, but he tanked through it and he got the kill. Like sheesh. It it didn't even it didn't even kill. Are you kidding me? How did that not kill? Holy, we almost lost Mr. Krabs there. I did not think for a second that that Mew would be able to tank that hit. I did not for a second think that it would be able to tank that. Oh gosh, this is problematic now. Rye? I, like, Rye is burning, but... I like having Rye because Rye feels safe just having such a huge pool of health. Water Spout, come on. Like, there's no way this doesn't kill. There's no way. Sheesh. These Mews, man. These Mews are causing me problems. <laughs> A Moltres. Who is this kid? Who is this kid? Who do we even have? Like, and this is the worst part. This is the worst part. Like, this Mew just wrecked havoc over all of my water types, and then he follows up with a Moltres! Screw it. Screw it. Rai. Rai, you can do this. Come on, I believe in you. It's only level 14. Oh my gosh, the, the burn is doing so much. I'm just gonna use a Super Potion! We're not going to take any chances. Okay, Rye. <sighs> Muddy Water's going to miss. Guaranteed. Whenever you're in a fight where you're having problems, that's when your moves are all going to miss. So you never use those moves at that time. Holy cow, Cyclist Dan. We almost lost Mr. Krabs. Uh, that would have been so sad. <laughs> but come on, Mr. Krabs has to lose. He can't lose to something like that. It should be like some... He, Mr. Krabs should go out trying to get money or something like that. Just uh, like anything else other than like Mr. Krabs dying for like greed is not worth it. But I mean, I guess that... That's why he has Hydro Cannon. It's like it's such a greedy move. It's like all attack power and you're just sacrificing your next turn because you want to get greedy and trust that that extra attack damage is going to kill. Okay. Who do we have leading right now? Uh, big. Like, that's the thing. It's, it's not even like any of the other guys that cause the problems. It's like the random kid that's in the bushes that's got like Two legendary Pokemon. He's the one that's gonna ruin your team. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I agree with that thought. Okay, go K. <laughs> okay, uh... L let me just check the map. We're in a new route, right? I haven't caught anything here yet. Where's the town map? Uh... 
Okay, so we have caught... This is where we started out. We've caught Route 1, uh, Route 22, Route 2, Viridian Forest. I haven't been in Diglett's Cave or anything. Uh, so Route 2, we took care of Route 3. Uh, we covered Route 4 and Mount Moon. We're on Route 24 now. And then there's also Route 25 up ahead. So there's two options here to pick up. Okay, let's see what we find here. Oh, hey, it's a star you. Okay, go K. All right, uh, let's use some constricts. Something, you know, nice and weak. Not gonna do that much. Oh, defense rose, that, that's fine. Get a few more of these down. Yeah, six damage, this isn't a problem. We can easily just whittle its health down. So I could use maybe one more before we're in trouble of uh, critting it. So, also case like, oh, I could totally get one more. I, don't, I just don't wanna get too greedy, but K doesn't seem to be any trouble here. These attacks are pretty weak. There's no way this kills. There we go. Health is in the red. So we can go for the catch now. Yeah. Yeah, we have 30 Pokeballs to try and catch a Staryu that's in the red. I think we're gonna be fine. Easiest catch ever. <laughs> okay, Staryu. Now, what level does Staryu uh, level up at? Enigmatic Pokemon that can effortlessly regenerate any appendage it loses in battle. You have a nickname? Sure! I just thought of something. You know what? This is perfect. <laughs> We're just going to have a SpongeBob team <laughs> that we can just deploy. This is Patrick! And Patrick is probably going to turn into, like, God or something when he evolves. <laughs> or... Or I just thought, maybe... Or maybe Patrick is going to evolve into, like, a cubic bone or something. Something that is skeleton-themed, considering the whole meme with him having a voice that sounds like... Voice clip that can be used for Sans. <laughs> that would be hilarious if that happened. Okay, so I've got to go heal up, and then we'll go catch in the next room. Okay, so now we got Air Cutter. We got TM01. What does Air Cutter do again? Like a, a... Is it like a move that does... There's like a move that's similar to that that does like... Okay, it's just a decent flying move. That's all it is. So like 55. High critical hit ratio, which is nice. So we got a decent selection, but nothing that I would ever really usually go for. Like... Iron Tail, maybe, if I had a Steel-specific one. Oh, Double Slap isn't even that good. <laughs> yeah, so honestly, Air Cutter's maybe, like, the best move that we picked up. Okay, this is Route 25. Uh, who's leading out right now? Uh, that's fine. Uh, for, but again, so we're Route 25. We're going to try and catch another Pokemon here. Ooh! A Vaporeon! Like, man, it's so weird to see, like, an Eevee, like, out, just out in the wild like this. Uh, let's use Constrict. Oh, it knows Hydro Cannon. Well, that's fine. A crit! Still fine. Still perfectly fine. Like, we're just gonna have a team that is entirely water-based. We literally, at this point, will have a team that is entirely... We can literally put to get out a team that is entirely just water Pokemon. Careful not to use this. 41 health, I feel relatively safe. It used a Hydro Cannon, and that wasn't that big a deal. Okay, that's fine. So we get a free move, and then I can switch. One, 
two, three. Piece of cake. Vaporeon was caught. Okay, Vaporeon, welcome to the team. Gosh dang it, I wanted to read that. Uh, let's see. If you were a girl, I would have called you Mifa, so I'm going to call you Sidon, so that we can be upset of losing the brother. <laughs> so then, if we lose you, uh, yeah, we have both teams. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to worry about putting Sidon in the team right now, because our team's pretty good to go right now. Uh, let's switch it up. Let's give Ami a chance to lead off. Okay, down from Mount Moon, you still got gas in the tank. Let's see what you got. Probably nothing I care about. Tamer Liliana sent out a Hypno. Okay, it's decent experience as long as it doesn't do any, cause us any problems. Let's just use Overheat. Oh, it knows Extreme Speed. Cool. Love all these Pokemon that are having that move and are potentially critting us. That didn't kill? Are you kidding me? I can't use Jump Kick, right? It's, I like how Jump Kick is not very effective, but it's still good enough. Still perfectly fine. A Snorlax. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll stick it out. Uh, use another Overheat on me. <laughs> Although the next one we use is going to be just brutally weak. It knows Hyper Fan. Uh, glad I didn't just go and automatically fight there. Okay, go big! Send this Snorlax out of here. It used block! It stopped me from escaping. I don't like that. He's not weak to Psychic, is he? I swear big. The number of misses. Oh, it got a crit. That's that's fantastic. Loving these normal fights. They're going so well. <laughs> you can you can confusion it. You can confusion it big. There's no way it's not gonna die from that. Okay, good. And Patrick is still not leveled up yet. Worked hard. Got some money. Okay, back from Healy. Recording. Stop that. I see you down there. I see you down there causing problems. Okay, back from Healy. Let, let's try and clear out as much of this as possible. Just take care of all of them. Okay, this is Technician Mike. He's got a lick a tongue. Yeah. Lick a tongue is definitely one of the weirder ones. Let, let's just use some jump kicks. Oh, cool, it's super effective. <laughs> yeah, I guess Omni is now our fighting type Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, oh, a Flareon. Well, this is fine. I, I'm not even going to use my fire moves. I'm just going to keep jump kicking. <laughs> I swear. What is it? With Like, I'm seeing so many crits. If I wasn't, like, leveling up my Pokemon to such a safe amount, I swear we would have lost somebody by now. We would have lost Mr. Krabs, like, to something really dumb if I hadn't. <laughs> Okay, you're decent. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I appreciate the compliment. Okay, how about you? You gonna have some random legendary or something that you're gonna throw at me? Oh no, it's just a Venusaur. You know, casual Venusaur along this route. Oh, me, you can burn this down. Like, seriously, I would have been upset if that didn't kill it. I know it's level 17, it's... You know, I feel like I over-leveled a bit, but, you know, some of these guys are still, like, within five levels, and... 
We we're still in danger, it feels like. <laughs> okay. How about you? Anything? Oh, it's another technician. Just a coffee. Okay, Ami, burn it, burn it down. Burn all of them down. Patrick's now level 15. He's trying to learn muddy water. Okay, yeah, that sounds like an appropriate move for you, Patrick. I'm sure. We never checked your moves, did you? Of course you know Splash. Of course. You never disappoint, Patrick. You never disappoint. I don't know why I would ever think that you wouldn't know a move like Splash. Okay, uh, Whirlpool is... I almost want to just keep Splash and get rid of Whirlpool. Like, Whirlpool just doesn't feel that good at all. <laughs> do I ever keep Whirlpool? Or, I mean, do I ever keep Splash? It's like, I'm looking at Garbage and I'm thinking, do I just want to have a Patrick that knows Splash? I kind of do. You know what? We have so many water types. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get rid of Whirlpool for Muddy Water, and Patrick can be... Uh, he gets to keep the move Splash. One of the most useless moves in the game. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Just because I can. I'm not mad. He's mad. You can tell. <laughs> Like, he, he probably just watched me looking at the moves and then and then just choose to keep uh, Splash over Whirlpool. I just I just triggered that kid. Completely triggered him. Cool Trainer Male Wayne. That's quite the name. And also, you're not a male. I swear, like, every... And of course, you would have that a Nidoran male. <laughs> like, sheesh. Okay, Ami, you know what to do. Burn everything. I swear, every trainer that we are, like, coming across, like, 90% of them, uh, their names don't match their gender. <laughs> That's just been the case for, like, 90% of those we've run into. Electrode. I'm gonna change that up. Uh, uh, you know what? Chance it with Ingo. Sure. Go, Ingo! You got this. Can't have you sitting on the sidelines too much. Nice. You went faster than it. Oh, it survived. It knows hail! Sure, why not? That seems like a move an Electrode would know. Okay. Ingo, just stomp him. Just put him out of his misery. A critical hit! Perfect timing! <laughs> That's the right time to get a critical. Okay, we got $300, and... Uh, there's more fights here. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I think what I might also do off-screen is I think I'm going to go and grind up Patrick, because I want to get him uh, closer to level up, or like an evolution see what he turns into. So, that's gonna do it. Thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the amazing falcons you are and have a wonderful day. Peace out. So that's gonna do it. May you soar like the amazing falcons you are and have a wonderful day. Peace out.